Oh man, look at these tracks. Strictly for lovers of single track. So we'll start with some of the exceptional trails through the Carpathian Mountains here in Romania. First, a huge thanks to the unsung heroes who create single track. It's often a hard, messy job and many of us enjoy the results without ever thinking about the work put into cutting the track. Especially the harder tracks designed to develop hard enduro technique. Steep climbs and descents, huge logs, rock gardens. Forum posts about single track etiquette often generate hundreds of replies. If the track is designed to say run over a big log, do you turn back, learn the skill then return? Do you cut a chicken track around it? Or simply dig holes <laughs> trying to get over it? Do you build a ramp on both sides or even move the log off the track? The replies were fascinating. Some riders said we need to respect the wishes of the original track cutters. If you don't have the skills, just go away, learn the techniques, then come back and try the track. At the other extreme, of course, there are the usual dickheads saying, who cares, it's public land, I'll destroy the track with wheel spin if I feel like it. So let's start with the former. As one guy said, you should ride to the intent of the track or piss off and ride motocross with the groomed fairies. <laughs> Another rider said, if a section is too difficult, we help each other to get up without cutting chicken tracks or digging holes. And I must say, that's the approach in our group. The moment one of our guys is digging holes, we will either suggest the right technique to avoid this or pull the bike through. Well, that wasn't very far. Or even offer to ride it through for them. <laughs> for a hefty fee, of course. And it avoids the need for making chicken tracks. Nice one. An actual rider I know said chicken tracks piss him off because he has purposely made a tough track but then the chicken track becomes the main route and the tough section gets overgrown from lack of use. And another rider said this annoys him to the point where he returns to block off the chicken tracks and force the less experienced to choose easier trails. There is support for chicken tracks though. Other guys felt it's okay to cut chicken tracks around hard sections as it prevents the track getting destroyed. As one guy put it, I think the agreed consensus is to look after the tracks so your children and grandchildren can ride them for years to come. A more philosophical approach we were all once beginners, so we should be more understanding when noobs cut chicken tracks, dig the track up, or remove obstacles. One forum reply put it nicely. Tracks come and tracks go. No one likes to see their hours of work destroyed by noobs, but we all had to learn on something at some stage. It's just the circle of life. And included this Yoda meme. Another guy I know said, what's worse, flogging out an obstacle or riding around it? It's a tough one because everyone is entitled to push their limits, but wrecking the bush and the tracks is not cool. What shits me is when people modify tracks to make them easier, when the tracks were made by better riders who actually want the challenge. And I must admit, I like that way of thinking myself. In support of chicken tracks, Go Murray, give it heat. another guy said, chicken tracks, fine by me. If you're not up to it, it's not worth destroying your bike, yourself or the trail. Want to give the obstacles a go? More power to you. If you're having an off day, not in the zone or injured, then go around. Who cares really? Just don't fuck the trail up too much. 
An interesting view from another guy. He said, most riders are reactive and find the path of least resistance. Whereas insane hard enduro riders are proactive and send it skillfully over the most gnarly section. In between, you have these guys who start well, blow out, but become reactive due to fatigue. Hence, the chicken runs. So there you go guys, a pile of interesting viewpoints. One thing I must say, it's great to see a common theme emerging, and that's respect for the tracks. So often, the dickheads are the loudest voices on social media, and you start to think most dirt riders simply don't give a fuck about anyone or anything but themselves. It's great to see there are plenty of responsible dirt riders out there too. If you do get stuck in tough sections, see our training vid about traction tips when stuck. You would be surprised how easy it is to get going again without digging the track up. Heaps of techniques, weighting the rear wheel, seat bouncing, rocking the bike. It saves you a lot of energy too. So keen to hear your opinions on this topic of looking after single track and ride in peace, my brethren and sister -in.